Hi, it's been a long time since I have filmed a YouTube video and I've thought about this channel so much over the last year and there's been a lot going on for me over the last year including working toward finishing my PhD. Um, if you are new here, I'm working on my PhD in chemistry and I also have a passion for makeup artistry and skincare. And I've really thought a lot this past year about the directions that I would like to take my YouTube channel and I'm going to post a video soon going into more depth on this topic but one aspect I really want to focus on going forward is looking at skincare from a skin health perspective. I think so many people come to YouTube looking for skincare videos as a way to alter something about their appearance and I think looking at it from more of a skin health perspective is a much more accepting and positive view and I would really like that to be a major focus of my channel going forward and again I'll talk about this in an upcoming video soon but in today's video I'm talking about the top five most underrated skincare ingredients in my opinion that are backed by science and I actually filmed this video a year ago and I originally didn't post it because there was an issue with a light flickering in the background but I was watching this video recently and I feel like there's a lot of valuable information in here in regards to skin health and these ingredients that are really underrepresented in the skincare community, I think, that aren't really talked about enough in my opinion. So um, I felt like it would be useful to share with you. And so I really hope that you enjoy this video and that you find it valuable. And I will be back soon with more detail on the future directions for my channel. Okay, so first is red algae. Red algae is also known as Irish sea moss or chondrus crispus. And this is a marine algae. And it's very rich in carbohydrates, specifically polysaccharides, which are long sugar chains. And these polysaccharides can bind to water very well. And so this is known as a humectant. And you've probably heard of hyaluronic acid as a humectant. It's in many skincare products. Actually, um, the carbohydrates present in red algae can actually bind to water um, even more efficiently than hyaluronic acid. And in addition to binding to water very well and keeping the skin hydrated, lab studies have also shown that the carbohydrates present in red algae specifically actually can help reduce hyperpigmentation. So red algae is also rich in sulfur. Sulfur is anti-inflammatory, antiviral, and antibacterial, and it helps to reduce oiliness in the skin, and it's effective at treating fungal acne. And I do have a product recommendation for you, and it's actually the Misha Red Algae Treatment Essence. And this is actually a fermented red algae, and the fermentation process actually enriches for the polysaccharides that I mentioned that are excellent humectants. Another product I wanted to mention was the kaolin mask from the Inky List. This is interesting because usually kaolin clay masks can be pretty drying and this is used to treat blackheads. So because it contains the red algae that can help to combat some of the drying and irritating properties of the kaolin clay. So the next ingredient I wanted to talk about is colloidal oatmeal. And this ingredient is unique in that it's one of the few cosmetic ingredients that is actually more heavily regulated by the FDA. It's regulated by the FDA in that it has to contain a certain amount of lipids and also it has to be a certain particle size. So what is the most interesting though is that oats actually make their own antioxidants. They make a compound called ferulic acid. You've probably seen this compound in vitamin C serums, for example. It's often added to these serums in order to try to help stabilize vitamin C. However, oats actually make their own ferulic acid, which in turn will stabilize these polysaccharides that act as humectants that nourish the skin barrier. So it's really a great system. And it's also a very inexpensive ingredient. I'll link a video below in which I talk about a product that I love, but the Aveeno um, Oatmeal Bath Therapy, you can actually use that um, on your skin. I have a video talking all about this, I'll link below. But oats are a very affordable skincare ingredient and 
um, definitely one that you should consider incorporating into your skincare routine because it really achieves all of these skincare benefits that so many expensive serums and other types of skincare products claim to do but it naturally contains this antioxidant and the beta-glucans that help nourish the skin barrier and so I definitely think it's worth incorporating into your skincare routine. Okay so next on my list is green tea and specifically green tea and leave-on products. I think green tea is also great in cleansers for example because it can be very soothing for the skin but it would be really nice to see green tea in more leave-on products because green tea has actually been shown to have anti-carcinogenic effects against UV radiation. Um, specifically, it contains a compound called EGCG, which is an antioxidant. And so it was actually shown in lab studies that when green tea extract was added to skin cells before exposure to UV radiation, it actually prevented mutation of a protein that is associated with skin tumor formation. So the protein called P53 actually repairs DNA damage caused by UVB radiation and it helps prevent the formation of skin tumors. However, UV radiation can cause a mutation of this protein. And again, these lab studies show that addition of green tea extract to the cells prior to UV radiation prevented mutation of this protein. And so that is just one example of studies that show the photoprotective effects of green tea. And I have a video going into more depth into this topic. I'll have it linked below for you. It's all about green tea and matcha and skincare. And I would love to see it in more leave-on products, especially sunscreens. Um, so far, I haven't found many sunscreens that contain green tea. Um, I am in the process of trying out and working on a review for the Japanese sunscreen called Verdio and it does contain green tea extract. So I was very excited. That's what intrigued me about the sunscreen. So I will be reviewing that for you soon, but that is one product that has green tea and is a leave-on product. And the next underrated skincare ingredient in my opinion is urea. You might be a little bit surprised to hear this, but actually urea is a very nice moisturizing ingredient. And it also at higher concentrations can act as a keratolytic, meaning that it's very helpful at treating dry skin and also effective at exfoliating dead skin cells. And urea is actually part of our skin barrier naturally. And it's very important for maintaining the health of our skin barrier. It also helps to stabilize the lipids in the skin barrier. So specifically, if you struggle with patchiness and dryness on the elbows, applying a urea cream here can really help to treat that. Also, applying it to the feet, if you have calluses, urea can definitely help to treat the calluses. One product that I've been using that contains urea that I really like is the Thermotonics Soothing Foot Cream with Colloidal Oatmeal. It's really nice to put this on your feet and then put uh, socks on to um, lock in the moisture. And it really does help if you have rough patches on your feet or even calluses on the feet. It's uh, very effective at treating these conditions. Okay, and the ingredient that I wanted to end on is one that is definitely more difficult to find in products. I am going to do some digging to see which products I can find on the market that have this ingredient, but it's very rare currently, um, and I hope that will change soon because I think there's some very promising evidence for this ingredient, but it is Trumella mushroom. This is also known as snow fungus or silver ear mushroom. So Trumella extract um, has antioxidant properties, it's anti-inflammatory, so it actually inhibits UVA-induced photo damage in the skin. And so collagen, elastin, and hyaluronic acid all play a key role in maintaining the structural stability of the dermal layer of the skin. And again, in this study, it was shown that the cells treated with the polysaccharide or the long sugar chains present in Trumella actually showed an increase in all three of these components. So I would absolutely love to see Trumella and more skincare products. And honestly, the only product that I have that contains Trumella is actually um, a makeup product. 
and it's actually the first product that I reviewed on my YouTube channel and it was a foundation from Laura Mercier and it was a great foundation I really loved it um, I really want to see this in more skincare I want to see it in sunscreen so I think that there's very promising data here for helping reduce photo damage from UVA radiation and so honestly I'm usually not someone who likes these sort of DIY at home skincare remedies because I think there is a lot of potential for irritation however I have tried um, to make my own Trumella serum at home and I loved it my skin really responded well to this um, there are many videos that you can find on how to make your own Trumella um, serum from the um, Trumella mushroom and I really liked it. I always recommend that if you're going to try something new like this, always do a patch test behind your ear and wait 24 hours and make sure that you don't have any kind of negative response before you apply it to the whole face. But I, um, if you're interested, I can definitely do a video um, showing you how I do that, um, showing you how I make that serum and how I like to use it. Um, but I would really like to see it in more skincare products. So I hope this video was interesting and helpful for you. You can find these ingredients in products um, except for the last one I talked about, Trumella, which is why I wanted to highlight it. I really hope that we see more products that contain Trumella in the future. But I will have a list below of products that I mentioned in this video that contain these ingredients. I also have the videos that I referenced linked down below if you'd like to learn more information about some of these ingredients and some of the scientific studies that I mentioned. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean so much to me if you would subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon.